If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you. In 2024, there will be unveiling of the world's largest and most powerful telescope. I'm talking about European Extremely Large Telescope, or ELT. The significance of this statement might not dawn on many, but if you imagine in this way, ELT will be for the astronomy what Elon Musk was for the electric cars. ELT opens whole new chapter in space exploration and understanding universe around us. For astronomers and astronomy science, this is one of the biggest breakthroughs in observational astronomy and astrophysics. Imagine all the recent exoplanet discoveries we relied on space artists and designers to create images of this world. With ELT, at least in nearby solar neighborhood, it will be possible to imagine distant planets and in not too distant future. First of all, I would like to thank all of my subscribers, but above all, the Patreon supporters and fans of my channel for your massive support. Anyone likes what I do, please consider supporting me through Patreon. It really helps. Well, also, check out my YouTube community page tab and join the conversation. You can also suggest topics for a future video. I would also like to thank Casper Bertensel for his generous donation towards my channel. Thank you very much. The telescope is being built for European Southern Observatory, or ESO, one of the world's premier astronomy research organizations. The work on 39.2 meter giant telescope started in late 2015, with work on MIRA beginning in late 2017. Once built, sometimes in late 2023, the European Extremely Large Telescope, or ELT, will be the largest and most powerful optical near-infrared telescope ever built. In essence, ELT will give us 16 times greater resolution on images we currently receive from Hubble Telescope, and it will be at least three times more powerful than James Webb Space Telescope. Sharper and clearer images of exoplanets won't be the only thing ELT will be capable of. The Near Infrared Visible Light Telescope will be capable of dwelling deep into creation of our own universe. Map and look at earliest galaxies that have formed in our universe. Determine with much greater accuracy the distance between distant objects and even help us understand if there are other universes out there. As telescopes go, they don't get any bigger. Yes, there were plans to build 100 meter optical telescope by ESA as well, but due to complexity of the project and the cost involved, it was decided not to pursue mega project any further until telescope technology improves. However, even with a 39.2 meter ELT telescope is the world beater. It will be so massive, the construction workers had to flatten the entire mountain top so they can place 75 meter tall dome that weighs 5,000 tons. The cupola and the telescope alone weigh some 3,000 tons and at these scales, think must be made to very high precision. The telescope will become fully operational in early 2024 with first scientific data from telescope being available probably by mid 2025. Proxima system, the nearest star system to our own, as well as Tau Ceti and Ypsilon Iridani or Edni star system will be the target of the observation by the telescope, with all three star systems being home to Earth-sized planets. The telescope will try to determine if any of the planets can support life. So why do we need bigger telescopes, you might wonder? Simple answer, larger the telescope, sharper the image. Larger collecting area also means more light falls on the collecting area, and more light equates to more sharper images. However, atmosphere diffuses or distorts the light coming from the stars. Thankfully, ELT is equipped with an adaptive optics mirror, which compensates for distorted images that falls on telescope mirrors. Once operational, ELT will be able to look at nearest exoplanets and determine composition of nearest exoplanets with great degree of accuracy. Current telescopes won't allow such detailed measurements due to the distance of these exoplanets, but also due to the small resolution of the primary mirror. ELT's primary mirror is composed of 798 hexagonal segments, each measuring approximately 1.4 meter across and 50 millimeter thickness. 
Some 2300 actuators will move each mirror segment a tiny bit to compensate for variations in Earth atmosphere. One of the main tasks of ELT will be looking for Earth-like planets and looking for a second genesis. In other words, life on other planets. The telescope will be able to observe Earth-sized planets within relative proximity to our own solar system, or within 30-32 light years. The European Extremely Large Telescope will be able to look at composition of exoplanets' atmosphere. Looking for distinct signs of life, oxygen, water vapor and methane are good starting points. In coming years, the array of large telescopes will be built, many almost as large as ELT. However, I'll be making videos separately in all new telescopes, and what does it mean for space science and astronomy? As someone who is in love with astronomy, I'm totally excited with what we can expect in coming decades. Things are looking out for space sciences. I would like to take the opportunity to express my gratitude to all of you my subscribers, but in particular to Dawn of Spaceship, a fellow subscriber and highly talented and kind supporter of my channel. He 3D printed a model of Starship and Super Heavy for me. With such great detail and accuracy, I'm literally lost for words. His channel is Dawn of Spaceship, where he talks about stuff like SpaceX, Starship, but also other stuff that might be of great interest to you all. The link is in the description. Please check out his channel and consider subscribing to him. He certainly deserves all your support. Thank you.